Hi everyone, it's Connor here from Durham Hearing Specialists. I hope you're doing well and welcome to another video. We've got quite an interesting case here. What you're going to see in this video is a very well preserved, well formed, I should say, mass of dead skin. So you can see here this debris, that sort of wavy, um, sort of looks a bit like folded pastry. This is an entire sheath of dead skin. It's actually almost essentially a, a mirror image or a ghost image of the ear canal. And we see dead skin all the time in the ear canal. And it's really nothing special, but this is a rather unusual case. It's quite rare to see such a well-preserved um, impression of the ear essentially in dead skin form. Um, so you're going to see a few techniques to remove this. Now, the reason that this is slightly challenging is because the dead skin is actually adhered to the ear canal further down. So at the moment, I'm just trying to get a hold of it using a regular suction probe, which initially is, is good for removing wax and little bits of dead skin, but is not entirely helpful for removing dead skin that's sort of attached and, come, and comes away in these sort of long flutes. So I'm going back in now with a fine end. So you might notice that the suction probe looks a little bit... Um, thinner and the idea behind the fine end is that the the, the dead skin won't um, be sucked partially inside and flap away that's what we call clarinetting and it makes a sort of squealy sound in the ear which is rather unpleasant for the patient so the fine end is fairly good for removing dead skin so but it didn't quite work so we're now using crocodile forceps now i'm sure a lot of you are thinking at this point fantastic crocodile forceps will definitely grab onto it and pull the whole thing out however uh crocodile forceps are really for me probably a plan c to be honest um and you you can see the reason why crocodile forceps always seem like a good idea but in practice you know you close the jaws of the crocodile forceps and they just you know, whatever you've grabbed onto basically tears away and you end up just tearing little pieces here and there and here and there. Uh, so I've gone back to the fine end. And what I'm trying to do now is basically move it down and peel it off the ear canal walls. So I'm going to have some success here in a moment. And we're going to grab most of it in one big chunk, essentially. So moving in and just wiggling it to try and loosen it up off the ear canal. And... Thankfully, the patient wasn't in any discomfort here, so I was fairly confident that I, that I was not pulling on anything that uh, was going to hurt, like the eardrum, for example. So, moving in, catching it from the side, and we should, hopefully, see this all come out in one gigantic plug. And there we have it. Well, that's most of it, anyway. Um, and it's all kind of... You can see how it's kind of in a long sort of trail so you can you could you would be able to imagine how that was adhered further down so now we're just going to tidy up there's some along the roof of the ear canal and normally if this was just brown wax then i wouldn't be overly bothered leaving some in there in fact I, to be honest if you look at most of the videos on this channel you'll see that i often leave wax in the ear canal because it has anti um antimicrobial qualities um and it, it prevents the ear from drying out and becoming itchy. It uh, defends the ear against foreign bodies and it's got all sorts of benefits. Um, but in the case of dead skin like this, particularly flaps and uh, of dead skin that are adhered to the canal, it's not overly useful to leave that in there. In fact, it's got very little benefit at all, actually. Um, and the reason for that is that um, if the patient gets water in their ear, most of the time they'll be absolutely fine, but um, soggy, dead skin in a warm environment is a perfect breeding ground for microorganisms. Some of those microorganisms may lead to uh, a bacterial infection, what we call a titus externa. So it's, it's impossible to remove all of the dead skin, and um, we certainly don't want to be lingering around um, in the ear canal too long with a suction probe. But overall, you can see here this grey skin is the eardrum, that looks fairly good. We've got a fairly clear ear canal here, so this is a good outcome for the patient and um, there are no concerns here of a clinical nature.